Welcome to lesson 5 of Learn Esperanto the Easy-ish Way. Here are some house words. Apartment is apartamento. Apartamento. Imagine that some celebrities dressed in working clothes are renovating your apartment. Apartamento. Window is fenestro, fenestro. Imagine that builders have finally finished installing a new window. Fenestro. Wall is muro, muro. Imagine using a lawn mower to cut the grass that's growing on your walls. Muro. Picture is bildo, bildo. Imagine workers busy building an enormous frame for an enormous picture. Bildo. Book is libro, libro. Imagine borrowing every single book from your local library. Libro. Shelf is bretto, bretto. Imagine storing loaves of bread on your bookshelves. Bretto. Garden is giardino. Giardino. Imagine that a celebrity is performing a concert in your back garden. Giardino. Tree is arbo. Arbo. Imagine that hundreds of trees are floating in the harbour. Arbo. What is the English for arbo? Tree for giardino. Garden for bretto. Shelf for libro. Book for bildo. Picture for muro, wall for fenestro, window for apartamento, apartment. How do you say in Esperanto tree, arbo, garden, Giardino, shelf, pretto, book, libro, picture, bildo, wall, muro, window, fenestro, Apartment. Apartamento. Here are some more useful verbs. To look for is serci. Serci. This looks like the English word search. So imagine using a telescope to look for a star in the sky. Serci. To find is 
trovi, trovi. Imagine finding a fabulous treasure trove, trovi. To buy is accetti, accetti. Imagine that you buy an egg from the supermarket, but can't work out how to hatch it. Accetti. To sell is vendi, vendi. Imagine selling all your possessions from a vending machine, vendi. To take is prenni, prenni. Imagine signing a prenup to make sure your fiancé can't take all your money, prenni. To carry is porti, porti. Imagine carrying a heavy boat all the way from the shipyard to the port. Porti. To need is bezoni, bezoni. Imagine that you need to buy the best one, because only the best is good enough for you. Bezoni. In common with many European languages, Esperanto has a single word which means both to do and to make. So, to do or to make is fari, fari. Imagine using the fire in your workshop to do things and make things. Fari. What is the English for fari? To do or to make. For bezoni. To need. For porti. To carry. For prenni. To take. For vendi. To sell for accetti. To buy for trovi. To find for serci. To look for. How do you say in Esperanto to do or to make? Fari. To need. Mezzoni. To carry. Porti. To take. Prenni. To sell. Vendi. To buy. Accetti. To find. Trovi to look for. Serci. How do you say I close it? Mi fermas cin. I open the window. Mi malfermas la fenestron. I look for it. Mi serchas jin. I look for an apartment. Mi 
Mi serchas apartamenton. I want to buy it. Mi volas aceti gin. I want to buy a picture. Mi volas aceti bildon. I don't want to sell it. Mi ne volas vendi gin. I find it. Mi trovas gin. I can find it. Mi povas trovi gin. I can't carry it. Mi ne povas porti gin. You can't take it. Vi ne povas preni gin. The book is on the shelf. La libro estas sur la bretto. The tree is beside the wall. La arbo estas apud la muro. The family are already in the garden. La familio estas jam en la giardeno. The brother is there, but the sister is not here. La frato estas tie, sed la fratino ne estas ci tie. You need it. Vi bezonas gin. The Esperanto for I must is mi devas. Mi devas. If you like, you can imagine that you must dive off this high cliff, no matter how terrifying it is. Devas. How do you say, I must ask? Mi devas demandi. You must answer. Vi devas respondi. I must do it now. Mi devas fari gin nun. You can make it today. Vi povas fari gin hodiaŭ. I must read it. Mi devas legi gin. I must not read it. Mi ne devas legi gin. In English you can say, I must read it, or you can say, I have to read it. You might say, I must go now, or else you might say, I have to go now. There is no difference in meaning between I must and I have to. In Esperanto, they are both translated by mi devas. So, mi devas legi gin means I must read it or I have to read it. 
Mi devas iri nun means I must go now or I have to go now. Be careful not to translate I have to as mi havas. How do you say I must buy it? Mi devas aceti gin. I have to buy it. Mi devas aceti gin. You have to sell it. Vi devas vendi gin. You have to find it now. Vi devas trovi gin nun. You can take it, but I must not take it. Vi povas preni gin, sed mi ne devas preni gin. So, I must means the same as I have to. However, because of a strange quirk in the English language, I must not is not the same as I don't have to. In fact, in English, I don't have to actually means something like I don't need to. So, I have to go is mi devas iri, literally, I must go. I don't have to go is mi ne bezonas iri, literally, I don't need to go. When you translate I don't have to into Esperanto, you must say mi ne bezonas. How do you say I must eat? Mi devas mangi. I must not eat. Mi ne devas mangi. I have to eat. Mi devas mangi. I don't have to eat. Mi ne bezonas mangi. I have to look for it today. Mi devas serci gin hodiau. You don't have to find it. Vi ne bezonas trovi gin. Here are a few more time words. Yesterday is hierau. Hierau. Imagine that you spent yesterday arguing with your hairdresser. You were having a hair row. Hierau. Tomorrow is morgal, morgal. Imagine that tomorrow you must go to the market and buy more cows, morgal. Soon is baldal, baldal. Imagine that the bulldozer will demolish your home soon. Baldau. Later is pli malfrue. Pli malfrue. Imagine that everyone saw that a male threw a knife, but his plea to the judge is not guilty. Pli malfrue.
again is de nove, de nove. Imagine counting out ten of them again and again, de nove. What is the English for de nove? Again, for pli malfrue. Later, for baldau. Soon, for morgau. Tomorrow, for hierau. Yesterday. How do you say in Esperanto again? De nove. Later. Pli malfrue. Soon. Baldau. Tomorrow. Morgau. Yesterday. When you talk about tomorrow or soon or later, you will often say, I will. For example, you might say, I will go tomorrow, or I will read it later, or I will answer soon. In Esperanto, to convert I go into I will go, you change the ending from as to os. So, I go is mi iras. I will go is mi iros. You've already seen that a verb ends with as when you're talking about the present, and it ends with is when you're talking about the past. When you're talking about the future, the verb ends with os. The os ending means the same as the English word will. How do you say? I drink. Mi trinkas. I will drink. Mi trinkos. I will drink tomorrow. Mi trinkos morgao. I will drink later. Mi trinkos pli malfrue. I write it. Mi scribas gin. I will write it. Mi scribos gin. I will write it again. Mi scribos gin de nove. You will do it. Vi faros gin. You will do it soon. Vi faros gin baldau. I did it yesterday. Mi faris gin hierau. Now, how do you say I read? Mi legas. I don't read. Mi ne legas. The opposite of I will read is I will not read or I won't read. So I will read is mi legos. I will not read or I won't read is mi ne legos. How do you say I will go? Mi iros. I 
will not go. Mi ne iros. You will buy it. Vi acetos gin. You will not buy it tomorrow. Vi ne acetos gin morgau. I want to sell it, but I can't sell it. Mi volas vendi gin, sed mi ne povas vendi gin. I will is not the only way to talk about the future. English speakers also say, I am going to, for example, I am going to eat, or I am going to close it. There is no difference in meaning between I will and I am going to. They are both translated by a verb that ends with os. So, mi manjos means I will eat, or I am going to eat. Mi fermos gin means I will close it, or I am going to close it. When you say I am going to, meaning I will, you must be careful not to say mi iras. How do you say I will take it? Mi prenos gin. I am going to take it. Mi prenos gin. I am going to find it. Mi trovos gin. You are not going to find it. Vi ne trovos gin. The tree was in the garden. La arbo estis en la giardeno. The relatives were in front of the wall. La parentsoi estis antau la muro. In Esperanto, you can turn just about any sentence into a question by adding the word chu to the beginning. So, la viro estas bona means the man is good. Chu la viro estas bona means is the man good? There is no English word that means the same as chu. It means something like the rest of this sentence is a question. How do you say the child is happy? La infano estas felicia. Is the child happy? Chu la infano estas felicia. The baby is young. La bebo estas juna. Is the baby young? Chu la bebo estas juna? The book is on the shelf. La libro estas sur la breto. Is the book on the shelf? Chu la libro estas sur la breto? You see. Vi vidas. Do you see? Chu vi vidas. You must keep it.
vi devas tenni gin. Must you keep it? Chu vi devas tenni gin? Chu questions can be answered with a yes or a no. The Esperanto word for yes is yes, spelled J-E-S. The word for no is the same as the word for not, ne. How do you say you are carrying it? Vi portas gin. Are you carrying it? Chu vi portas gin? Yes, I am carrying it. Yes, mi portas gin. You understand. Vi comprenas. Do you understand? Chu vi comprenas? No, I don't understand. Ne, mi ne comprenas. I will make it later. Mi faros gin pli malfrue. The friend is going to make it. La amico faros gin. The neighbor closes the window in the apartment. La naibaro fermas la fenestron en la apartamento. Can you say it again? Chu vi povas diri gin de nove? I have a picture. Mi havas bildon. I have to sell it soon. Mi devas vendi gin baldau. I don't have to sell it. Mi ne bezonas vendi gin. You must not sell it. Vi ne devas vendi gin. I already sold it. Mi yam vendis gin. I sold it yesterday. Mi vendis gin hierau. And that's the end of lesson five. The next part of the course is practice section one, which you should do before you move on to lesson six. 